Luke here at the Outdoor Boys YouTube channel, and it's winter time here at the abandoned homestead. We've been working like dogs trying to get ready for winter. We've been getting vehicles unstuck, fixing electrical systems, buildings have been collapsing, and hanging out as a family. Hey, come on in. Here. I'll go warm up the house. You stay in the warm car. Okay. All right. And let's get the toilet seat warmed up. Hi. Here. Come on. Yeah. Hey, hang up your coat. Okay. Well, look, the family's back at the cabin. You guys excited to be here? Yeah! This cabin is starting to feel like a fun place to bring the family and not just a hot mess. <laughs> but it's late, and right now we're just going to get everybody uh, fed and into bed. Here, go sit down and have your hot chocolate. I'm gonna dip a peanut butter cookie in this. Jacob, do you like the hot chocolate? Yes. Here, guys, do you want me to throw up a sleeping bag? There's the Jacob sleeping bag. Hey, Becca, before you go to bed, would you like a hot water bottle? I would love a hot water bottle. Got a hot water bottle here for Mama. Come on, guys, get your sleeping bags out. It's bedtime. Well, guys, it's late and the kids are asleep, so I gotta put the camera down. I'll see you guys in the morning. You sleep okay, babe? Yeah. Here's some cold. Oh, they're so cute. That looks so good. I need food. Mommy, do you like your crepe? <laughs> Love it. The toaster was a thing too many. That's okay. So no toaster. I was wondering about that. Let's see, we got fig and ginger jam. Why, thank you. Well, today we've got a big project. Right now, all of our batteries and electrical equipment is over in that cabin, and that cabin's not heated. Winter's coming, and it's going to get really cold. It often gets negative 40 in the wintertime. And if the batteries get too cold, they don't work. So we're gonna move all that electrical stuff into this heated cabin. The first thing I need to do is get all this stuff out of the way. Here. There you go. Well, how you guys doing? Good, good. Did you buy yourself a little track vehicle? Yeah, I'm a pickup truck guy now. I don't have a lot of experience with electrical stuff, so I called the guys from All Off Grid who installed my system. I'm gonna have them go ahead and move it for me. I figure one cabin fire's enough for a while. <laughs> wow, me hungry for human flesh. Do you want? Set off the smoke detector. Okay. Oh. Turning breakers on. Getting somewhere. 
Oh, that's gonna be so much nicer. Well, now if my electrical system bursts into flames, I'll know about it a lot quicker. So 48, the system shuts down. 51 is like 20%, you said? 51.2 is... That's, that's not too bad, huh? That's great, that's nice. The battery will work a lot better when it's warm. And so I got the generator now plugs into the cabin right there. And I'm gonna go ahead and move that old diesel generator and I'll use that little shed to put my generator. And our solar panels are still here on the back of the cabin. And we got this wire leading to the main cabin. And once the ground thaws in the springtime, I can go ahead and bury that wire. Are you, Rebecca, you fixing the lock? Working on it. Oh, yay. Yay, we'll be able to lock the door. A whole new set of keys to lose. Well, the next thing I'm working on today is I'm gonna to try to clean this whole mess up. Looks like the previous owners were trying to install a bathroom and they've got kind of half done plumbing, a composting toilet, and they framed out an area for a shower. But we're gonna go ahead and take that all out. Chuck it, throw it. Yeah, it spilled water everywhere. A whole bunch of water came out of these pipes. You can't have that in the wintertime here in Alaska. If any water collects in your pipes, that water expands when it freezes and it breaks the pipes and it destroys everything. If there's places where water collects in your pipes, the only way you can winterize it is by hooking up an air compressor and blowing the water out of the pipes. And you have to do that every single time your house gets below freezing. It'd be a massive pain. Better just to tear the whole thing out. Does it work? This works, this works. Yeah. Yay! Uh, yeah. Yeah. Well. Thank you. Yeah. Oh, I'll tell you what, it feels a lot roomier in here. We're not done yet, but man, this is an improvement. Every time we pick at this, it just gets better. I was thinking about what to do with this cabin now that I've moved all the electrical equipment out of it. And I'm thinking I might want a workshop. Matter of fact, making a blacksmithing forge would be really awesome. That's definitely something to consider. Go get in the car, everyone get your boots. Me, Dad. I will. What? All right, there we go. We got a lot done today, but we'll be back soon. We got a lot more to do. <laughs> and it's heated and it's, and it's heated well guys welcome welcome Thank to you. the cabin well today is tommy's birthday and it is a special day and i asked him what he wanted to do and he said go on a trip with dad and go hunting and snow machining so we're doing just that what do you think you like it up there it's awesome i bet it's nice and warm up there yeah. oh it's, it's it's already roasting oh. hot yeah. are you guys hungry oh yeah, yeah. Is that your how much I would get. Since it's Tommy's birthday, he requested we make mabidofu. It was lots of, what is that a mob? Oh, okay, we're adding tofu. Let's see. It's pretty, I'm a dog, dog guy. There we go. You know, if, if there's a, uh... yeah, you like that? Yeah. You guys like that? It was a good? That was delicious. Tommy, are you full? Are you full? Oh, please, I have room. You gonna make room for cupcakes? Yes. All right, let's do some cupcakes. 
Hey, we're gonna make you, we're gonna get you a candle. You ready for this? Oh, I don't light it yet. Happy, Happy birthday. birthday. Okay, you better blow that out. <laughs> uh, ah, it's on oh, fire. Oh, that's not good. That's on fire. <laughs> so, it's on fire. So, okay, sure. Like cupcake, right? uh, the, yeah, it's a good cupcake. Yeah. Well, it's late. We've got a lot of fun things to do in the morning. I'm gonna put the camera down. And I'll see you then. For breakfast, we've got scotched eggs and crumpets. You guys down with that? Awesome. Yeah, we, 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 we. All right, let's see what we got. We got ourselves some scotch eggs. These are soft boiled eggs covered in a layer of sausage, deep fried in panko and they are delicious. We're gonna try reheating these in the air fryer here. Temp, maximum temp. Uh, -hoo. Uh, cool. Let's see what we did to our batteries here. Oh man, that tanked the voltage on my batteries. So using that air fryer for seven minutes used more electricity than I've used so far in this entire trip. You see, I should have brought the generator and ran the generator while I was using that, but you know, we're learning. Let's see if this completely blows the circuit or not. I'm a little nervous. Oh. It'll be very chilly up there. Uh, put a little butter on. Mackley's family. Amber and I uh, took it and that, Yeah, then you bread it. Dunk it in. For everyone gets a whole whole scotch egg. And... Now, Josh, have you ever had a scotch egg before? I haven't. No. Okay. So oh, well, I'm excited to document this moment. <laughs> I mean, if you like deep fried food, sausage, and eggs, you know, how can you not like it? Tommy, you excited to do some snow machine? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Little, little, uh. All right, Tommy, should we go take a look at this? No engineer, but it looks like an outhouse in there. A little dirty. You get water in the fuel line, it forms, it collects in the fuel filter, and that's where you get your ice. Oh, that wasn't great. I just figured out that I forgot to put the keys in the ignition for the. With the key in. <laughs> <laughs> Dom, you're a mechanical genius. That doesn't sound great, though. It's gonna tear up my belt. But this thing doesn't want to move. This goes to the engine, this goes to the track. This wheel refuses to turn. So something's jammed up, iced over, rusted up. So we're gonna hook a tow strap up to this and see if we can't break that free and get it to work. Machines like a ninja, it disappears in a puff of smoke. <laughs> I still can't believe that thing runs. I, we should have checked to see if it had a do not resuscitate order first, you know? Shall we go double or nothing and see if we can get the UTV out of here? Let's do it. Let's yeah. give it a shot. Today's the day I'm going to get this broke UTV out of here so I can get it fixed. Oh my 
go. Slide out. Well, we'll see if this fool's errand is uh, going to work or not here. Alright, that's good. Shortened up the tow rope a little bit to help with getting around turns. There are some questions and concerns. Alright, here's the first turn. I think I'm gonna have to get a running start on that hill. We might just have to do full send. Just see what happens. Send it. So much. Full send! Ah! Oh, might still be able to I think it. I might still be able to do it. Just pop. One, two, three, go. Okay. We're gonna do a daisy chain. We did it! High five! Woo! Yes! I'll carry the fish trip. You ready? All right. All right, let's see if we can keep this from going into a ravine or smashing into the back of my truck. Well, we came down the hill and I underestimated how fast the sled would go and it caught up and rammed the back of the truck and I hit the gas to give us space and then that jerked the tow rope and severed the tow rope. We got some cracking here. We gotta tie a bowline onto this thing. The rabbit comes out of his hole, he runs around the tree and he goes back down into his hole. And the reason why you use a bowline is because no matter how tight you pull this, you can always untie it. Tony, I think it worked. Brilliant, man. I think it worked. That was so sketchy. <laughs> Yo, this bowline is tight as a rock. The way you get it off, is you grab the rabbit's neck, you break it. <laughs> Weak. Then it just comes right off. Look at that. Uh, some, some real successful <laughs> sketchy Alaskan crap. <laughs> High five, Tom. All right, got a tow truck to go take this to a repair guy. Oh, I can't tell you how glad I am to see that thing loaded on a truck finally. Uh, all right, Tom, you want to drive back? Good job, Tom. You drive like a champion. All right, Tom, let's get some lunch going here. He ruined his reeling, you know, you kind of... Well, here, guys, you want some sandwiches? Here, let's... Grilled cheese sandwiches are hard to beat, huh? Mm. Mm. Well, listen, guys, you want to go uh, see if we can shoot some birds, do a little snow machine? I'm getting old. I fell off my snow machine a little while ago and hit my knee really hard. Yeah, a little trail here. The, the little vole trail. The, the vole spend the whole winter under the snow eating vegetation mm. and they'll burrow out and come along. Go right back in there? Yep, there he goes, pops right back in. The foxes and the owls can hear them underneath the snow and we'll get them through the snow. Oh yeah, those are bunny prints. I think this snow's only a few days old. You can have rabbit stew for dinner. Yeah, yeah it's just a really fat Tweety. No, I think those are Gray Jays. Take care of that. <laughs> Got my Ferrari in its garage here. Ooh. Putting the snow machine away for the night, I gotta put heat in all the fuel. When it gets really cold, you get condensation in gas tanks, and that forms water, which turns into ice and blocks your fuel lines. And this stuff keeps that from happening. Immediately 
but let's see. Yes. It's I can feel it. It's kind of puffy, right? He, oh, oh that, that's right exactly here. Gotta put my pant leg down. I didn't mean to turn this into a thirst <sighs> video. You want to watch a movie? Okay, hey, Josh. You, it looks like you're gonna have to pick. So we got a movie, Pom Poco. It's a Japanese movie about transmorphic raccoons that fight urban sprawl. Uh, we've got Rodan, Nasca of the Valley of the Wind, the romantic miniseries North and South from the BBC. Excellent. Oh. Hey Tony, try this. It's watermelon flavored licorice. Oh, How about that? Mm -hmm. That's a different texture. I love this. It's the wallaby licorice. So how these batteries hold? Yes, um, that's not the toaster. This is like... I didn't use it, bro. Get like a steak, right? And... How did, I, how did I do on this? Eh, it's a little bit more medium and not quite medium rare, but yeah, it'll work. There we go. All the meals were Tommy's decision. He picked all of his favorites. Oh, that was a good dinner. But now it's time to do the dishes. In the, we had a dish. And it just... All right, guys, it's getting late. We got to get to bed. We're going to see you in the morning. It was 8.30 and nobody's moving. I think we're all pretty tired. Win that first battle. I know. Mommy, did you eat that whole thing? Jeez, so a 10 year old could have never done that. That was the act of an 11 year old. Well, that was good, but I think it's time to start cleaning up. Time to fire up my massive pickup truck. Well, it's been fun and we gotta get going home, but we still got a lot to do. So we're gonna be back pretty soon. You guys got enough room? Oh, wow, this is so much smoother on the yeah, snow. Yeah, isn't it smoother on the snow? Everybody out. Okay. There we go. That old 2000 watt generator I had just didn't have enough oomph to run my system. So uh, we're gonna try this 3000 watt generator. Aha! That electric start. While I was gone, two of my neighbors helped me get rid of that big broken diesel generator that was there. So that's where I'm going to put my generator now. It's charging the system. There we go. We've got plenty of juice. We can run the refrigerator if we want to and charge the batteries at the same time. And if I need to use the toaster and the microwave, the air fryer, any of those things, I can turn the charger off and then I can run those for a few minutes. <sighs> I'm gonna re up my licorice stash. Should we go check on the snow machine? Oh, yeah. That is true. <gasps> what happened? Oh, my goodness. Look at this. Our little garage collapsed. Oh, my goodness. Try to pull up the yeah, there's the snow machine underneath all that. I mean, I don't know much about this garage. It was up when we bought the property, but I assumed it would handle the snow because we had a ton of snow last winter. If we're going to get that out, we've got to clear all this snow and debris off. Oh, 
got that two stroke running. Smokes like a chimney, but it works. Hey Nathan, you wanna watch a movie? Yeah. Yeah, come down and watch Steve Boy with us, bud. Tommy, is that raffle? Well, my brother and nephew are gonna be joining us tonight, so I'm gonna go pick them up. Step right up into my big rig. No, I got stuck. I can't get the truck up the hill. And my K truck is not getting up the hill. There's a really icy spot and the treads just really aren't gripping. I'm gonna go take the snow machine to go get him. What's up? Where's Truckoon? <laughs> hey guys, you made it! Yeah! <laughs> I brought my really crappy two stroke snow machine. How far is it? The truck is really close to getting out. So oh, I've. I see. <laughs> That wasn't easy, but we got it. No, but yeah. Maybe when it freezes up over the night, it'll be a little bit harder and easier to get up. Uh, or maybe it'll be worse. I don't know, we'll see. Hey guys, looking styling now. You got your glasses. All right guys, you headed, Nathan, you going, up, you going up there? You see? All right guys, it's late. I'm gonna put up the camera. I'll see you in the morning. Dan, I got some bad news though. What? I've got weak breakfast. That's fine. We, we, our options are oatmeal or spam and toast. I like about everything. It's trained neck muscles. I can fist it, so. Well, we got a lot of things to do today. Number one, we need more fuel. That's empty, that's empty. They don't want kids drinking them. No. <laughs> Are you on it? Somebody just had it. Jingle. Ah. Uh. I had a chance to knock this little hill down with the excavator when I was building the road last summer, and I forgot to do it, and I'm gonna pay for it all winter long. I just know it. Uh. Why would I do that? Let's go get some gas. That was, a, that was a good amount. We're good, we're not spilling gas. Oh, we got a full tank of gas. <laughs> Looks like someone had a little trouble. You know, you're supposed to turn. All right, we got this. We got it over now. All right. I hit it. I'm gonna kind of try to clear out a little trail here so we have room to turn the snow machine around. Real sad. There you go, got a nice little snow machine circuit so the boys could do laps around the property. What to do about this? Man, this thing is destroyed. My spare tires, my motorcycle, some other odds and ends are all buried underneath this. Everything that's buried under there is, at least it's covered with a tarp, so I think I'll just deal with it in the spring. 
It's a shame. I like that garage. I liked it a lot. Oh. <sighs> I gotta sit down. I got a problem with my foot. Now, me and my wife went on a trip to Hawaii last week and I got a thorn in my foot and it turned into a big cyst. Cut into it with my knife. Oh my goodness, got this big old thorn came out. Oh, it feels so much better. But it's been like walking on a marble for three days. It's still sore, but it's better. Alrighty, well I think I need to do a little cleanup in here. One of these dead beetle trees fell down and we chopped it up. We're gonna go haul it over for some firewood. Got it, but we'll, we'll get it. Good man. Something like that, yeah. You literally got to drop your ear and back. Come back, so. And this stuff. Got to shovel the top off that car. We'll get so much snow by the end of the winter, it'll crush the cab. All right. Okay, that's locked. All right, we're going to go see if we can get up that hill. More speed! Yeah! Woo! Sometimes it helps to have a little junk in the trunk, yeah? Well, the sun's about to set and we're headed home and hopefully you guys have enjoyed this video. I've got a whole series of videos about fixing up this abandoned homestead. If you wanna see that, check out our abandoned homestead video playlist and make sure to click subscribe. I'll see you guys next video. If you like this video, don't forget to check out the Outdoor Boys YouTube channel where we have hundreds of videos just like this. And don't forget to click subscribe so you can see other great videos every Saturday morning. And hit that bell button and you'll get notifications. Thanks for watching.